Hi guys, I am doing a, well, we did the bow build. So now we're gonna sight my bow in and we have a total archery challenge coming up in two weeks, right? Less than. Less than two weeks, which is not awesome. I should have been shooting before this, but we're doing it today. Um, I am gonna be shooting different arrows than what I will be hunting with. So what we're gonna do is um, swap out a different sight tape and essentially just swap dials. That way I can still use the same sight for hunting, but also swap it out and use different arrows and it'll be ready to go. So um, the arrows that I'm shooting, which I will do a separate build, or separate arrow build video for you guys, but um, for now I'm just going to use the ones that I pre-built, pretty plain basic. Um, the Easton Sonic 6.0 High Velocity um, the six millimeter 500 spine. So they're a little bit lighter and so hopefully they'll be a little bit faster and I'll get more distance than what I would get out of my hunting arrow. So first thing we're gonna do is take off my old sight tape. And when I say old, I mean my hunting sight tape, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna put on a new one. Pretty simple, straightforward. And then the tape that is on that you see here is just so I can get my yardage. And then we'll put the actual sight tape on that I will be using to dial to. Okay, so before I shoot, I know you guys are gonna ask me how much these weigh. Um, so I've got these, so my draw length is 25 inches. I've got these cut roughly 26 inches with a... Nineteen grain insert, aluminum insert, and then a hundred grains in the front, and then just the knocks that come with. So total grain weight is three twenty-two, for anyone wondering, which is pretty light. All right. So first shot, just shooting at twenty yards, should be pretty well on because I didn't change anything from my other dial. Smoked. Is it? Yeah. Alright, take two because it was at 17 yards and not 20 yards. Also, too much coffee this morning. I'm a little jittery. I mean, sort of hovering around the bottom dot. Just take an average of the group. I mean, it's hitting like where I'm aiming. I'm shaking. Right. Yeah, I had too much coffee. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, it's hitting where my pin is. Just me, that's a little bit off. So, back up to like roughly 30 yards. Basically, you're gonna start when you're trying to do a sight tape is you start at 20 and then you're gonna end at 60 yards. And what is it, the number that's yeah, so since you're at 20 yard, you're you shot your 20 yards, so you got to move it. Move it. Oh, it is zero. You yeah, I have it zeroed out. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, so now you'd shoot 60, and then whatever number it lands on after you get sighted in that 60 is your sight tape. Right. But you're kind of guessing on your way back to 60 as to like where to dial it to. Yeah, I mean you're gonna walk. You're gonna do. 30 just to get rough, and then 40 just to get rough, yeah. 50 just to get rough, and then 60 so you don't lose arrows. Yeah. Or you can do what I do and just 
Go to 60. Just zing it and hope for the best. Not too bad considering I haven't really shot much since November. So, um, if I were to give any advice, if you're gonna do this um, before just sighting in, take your target real close and just shoot to get your muscles like where you want them as far as like shooting muscles because then you won't get fatigued when you're trying to shoot to 60 and make a group so don't be like me again everything is very like guesstimate because my arrows are different but this is my sight tape and you can see the spacing between 20 and 30 so in order to like kind of guess where to dial your setup tape I'm just gonna sort of like compare them. Zero would be 20. So the arrows are different. So I'm not gonna dial quite so far, maybe like here-ish, just to get close. Just trying to hit the target. Oh, right in the middle. Spoke. Okay, so now we'll move back to 40. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. So now 30. So I guess dial to like probably 20 something, 27? No. Ish. We're just trying to hit the target. And also, the reason why we're shooting inside is because it's windy out today, so. Otherwise, it'd probably be outside. Good hit. Oh yeah, just a little high. Yeah, I think I pulled a touch, but it's pretty good. Just hoping I moved it to the right spot. Oh, right over. Was it? Yeah. Barely, but right over. Try again. That's the other thing is sighting in. Uh, make sure you have extra arrows on hand, which I do because I'm gonna lose them at tack anyway. But it should be close. That was good. All right, now we're gonna do 60, and then we should be getting our sight tape. Hopefully that's right. What'd it land on? 65? Yeah. Does that sound right? All the way back there? Yeah. Ish. Okay. Boom. Yeah, I pulled a little bit. No, it's kind of bright out. I'm a little rusty with my shooting, but I'm pretty sure the bow is dialed right where it needs to be. And on the setup tape, we're at line 60, one, two, three. So for the actual sight tape, it's pretty nice. All you have to do is find whatever no number you're on. And the setup tape is you're just looking at the top numbers here, so 63. New dial. Tape 63. Now if I can make sure it's straight. Right 
right? Oh, yeah. It's not straight. Hold on. This also doesn't help because I'm still jittery. It almost overlaps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, good enough. So now we're gonna take this one off. So now we're gonna line my pin up with 60 yards because that's where I had it locked down at. Maybe. All right, so I just threw a target out there. I think it's at like 38 yards. So we're just gonna check a few random lines to make sure that the tape is actually the right tape, which it should be pretty close if not. Is that where you're aiming at? Yep. Yeah. Get yeah, one more for funsies. Good Funsy measure. Fun. Top one. Good height. You're just a little right. Okay. A little windy today. That's why we shot inside. But I have the ability to shoot pretty far, so we're gonna do that just kind of for funsies, but also just to double check a lot of the tack events. You're shooting 80, 90 yards, if not more, at some of the targets. So this spot, I'm at about 81, 82 here. And I will say it's definitely important when you're sighting in your bow um, or setting a sight tape to use whatever rangefinder you're gonna use for the season or for the event, whatever it is, because they do vary just a little bit, even if it's by a yard or two, and that can make a difference when you're getting out really, really far. So I got the Bushnell broadhead, that's what I'm gonna be using. Let's hope I can actually get this far. So another thing, if you guys look, um, you can see my arrow is super close to my sight. So I might not even be able to quite get that far. Um, but if you have that issue where you have a lower poundage and uh, you're noticing that your arrow is pretty close, the first thing I would say to do is to flip your veins. So that way your, your main vein is facing down which is step one, I guess you could say, to make sure that you're not gonna hit your sight. And then what I do is like, I'll look from the back. And if you're super close like this, I might honestly like dial it down a little bit, like 80, 79-ish. Because your arrow is gonna be a little bit higher when it leaves your bow. And 
I don't want to hit. It's a little risky. Look at that spider web in there. <laughs> Haven't shot in a bit. <laughs> well, gosh, that's risky. Okay, I might do 75. Let's see what it does. It's pretty close. Let's go up to 75. And it really, it really doesn't matter too much which way your veins are positioned. So like having the, the main vein up or down just really doesn't make a difference that I've noticed anyway. Okay, so we're gonna try 75 just cause I don't know if 80 is gonna hit. It's close. Does that look like it's gonna hit? Mm -mm, not the arrow. If anything, the vein might neck it. Hold on. <laughs> Looks good. I can't quite tell where it hit, but I'll probably inch it back here and there. Um, until I can find that sweet spot of where um, I have to start guessing. So my other arrows that I had used were my hunting arrows last year and I think I could only dial to like, I forget, like 65-ish before I had to start guessing. So here I'm getting at least 73. I might be able to squeeze one or two more yards out of it. Um, but I mean it really is personal preference what you use. I've got a two pin in so basically I'm going to have to figure out what my pin gap is with these arrows, but I should be able to um, dial it to set my top pin and then whatever my pin gap is, I'll be able to use that bottom pin. After that, it's going to be guessing. So 90 yarders are probably just aim high and hope for the best, but um, I'm still getting a little more yardage than what I was, which is, which is what I was trying to go for. So that is, uh, yeah, we're sighted in pretty simple. Um, if uh, I had anything to say, I would just say shoot a lot and get steady before you're trying to really sight in because I'm a little shaky and it's kind of a guessing game, but um, I, th I think it's pretty close. So I'll be shooting a little bit here. We'll do more videos soon. And um, yeah, I'm excited for TAC. It's coming up quick. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.